I'll be brief. Um, very proud of the resiliency of this group. Um, certainly, numerous times they could have they could have uh, they could have turned it in, and they never did. And I never felt like they would. And that's the uh, uh, you've got to have some reward for going through the hard stretch that we've gone through. And the reward is resiliency. And um, um, I'm not sure I could get it across to you uh, or if most people would have any idea how hard it is to keep coming back day after day when you're working so hard and you're right there and then it doesn't go the right way. And um, that's what they've had to deal with. But there's not been one day in here. Um, the Michigan game we didn't play quite as well but, 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 but at the end. But the, there's not been one day in here where these guys uh, didn't get it going, didn't bring it at a high level, uh, a focus, uh, work, um, preparation. And if you do those things and you stay consistent with it, uh, at some point in time, the bounce is going to go your way. And literally, the bounce went our way. So um, Northwestern's an outstanding team. Uh, they're an NCAA tournament team. If I know anything about basketball, and I don't know if I do or if I don't, but I do think that they are one. Um, he's done a great job coaching his team, building his team. And... Um, and they have a lot to be proud of. It was a great uh, battle. And, uh, but our guys to find a way uh, down seven with a minute and a half, whatever it was, to stay in there and keep coming, especially after I don't remember when the Bryant banked the three. But um, for our guys to do that, very, very proud of them. Go ahead. Pete. Defense. Defense. Um, they were three, I think, of 18 when they didn't get in the paint. So it was defensive stops, and uh, that was the biggest thing. Uh, after James hit that three towards the end to bring you within two, and Northwestern got the ball back on the possession that McIntosh hit the shot before the dunk, what did you kind of tell your guys as far as defense? I don't know. That was like, I don't even know, man. You give me sequences I can't even think about. So I, I, I don't know. You know. I'm sure I said something. It probably didn't work, but I uh, said something. Good. Sure. How much of a momentum boost was that Devontae Green buzzer beater to cap off the 22 0 run? Before? It gave us three more points. I, I think that's what was cool. Uh, it energized the crowd. The players felt good with that, but, but um, we didn't come out and have the same response uh, at the start of the second half that we needed to. And, um, and so, but, but no question, you know, to, to cap off a half, you know, th this team is not used to going on 22 0 runs, right? We've had teams in the past that have done that. This one hasn't as much, but again, it was how they got it. They got it with the defense. And so uh, it was a great shot. I didn't get a good look at it, so I'll watch that later. But, but uh, you don't get to see that every day. So a lot, of, a lot of remarkable things tonight. You know, Bob Hamill just said no one's ever been proposed to on senior night, right? That was actually out on the court, so that was cool. Were you, were you in on Collins mm -hmm. and Flint? Yeah, absolutely. Not many were, and I kept, my, I kept, I kept it quiet. He told my wife. Um, and, uh, and he told me it's been in the works for a little while, but absolutely. You got contributions from different guys at different points, but during that 22 run, Rondé Green's play overall outside, you know, the, the three that goes in. Mm -hmm. that Very good. Well, what were the things that you saw? The I think that group, I think the Devante, Jawan Duran, James Josh, if I remember correctly, I think that group was plus 15 in the first half. That's outstanding. And I think he just, um, he played it with a high motor, moved the ball. Um, you know, there, there's certain things you got to live with. You know, the, the one turnover late in the late in the game, it, it's just not there. He's going to get so much better when he can play with those eyes up, and and um, he'll be such a better player. He really will. Most guys go through it, and and he's got to get to that point. But he played hard. He just played basketball, and and uh, he held his matchups very well. So he did an outstanding job. Yeah, just that, that last about nine seconds from when James grabs it, mm -hmm. gets the line. Trying to get, it was just a great play. Yeah, it was just a great play. They did a great job. They were, they were doubling Thomas a lot mm -hmm. inside, and, and you seem to adjust in the second half away from it. There's two things we weren't doing with the double. Okay, it's a post escape. The post escape, we were holding the ball too long on the first pass. The pass out of the trap is usually going to be the second pass. And so two things need to happen. Well, three things need to happen. You get it swung, okay? to the first pass, you get it swung again quickly to the other side and you sprint in front of the nearest man. So whether, that's the, whether it's your man or the doubler, 
okay, sprint in front of him and seal him in the middle of the paint. We weren't doing a very good job of that. We were holding the ball, trying to dribble it rather than reverse it. And um, th that's where we had some slippage, you know, and, and we knew, you know, part of our adjustment package, you can't not play through your foreman when you know that's who the double is at times. But we tried to move them more in the second half, just like we opened the game trying to move them. But invariably, when the ball's going in the post randomly, they're going to get in there. So we work every day on post escape. And, and uh, we just didn't get that ball swung as quickly. We were trying to look to throw it back in, same side, rather than get it reverse flash middle. Oh, I think it's great for Kyle. I'm happy for the players. I mean, I really am. I coached 18 years. There's very little I haven't been through, very little I haven't seen. Um, not a lot um, anymore uh, affects me one way or the other. But senior night always will, and um, no question about it. And especially knowing what I, or knowing what I knew you know, was going to transpire after, you want that to be good. And uh, so it's fantastic. And it's, it's bittersweet with Colin, but it's like I said in here yesterday, it, it's the epitome of what you want Indiana basketball to be. He's got options. He can move into a great, he can move into a great position work-wise, or he can come back and play another year. And, um, and no one could fault him either way. He's done a fantastic job. But he's, he is a, uh, you could all see it. I mean, he is an outstanding young man with an outstanding family. And uh, now he's joining another one. So that's great. I'd have to think, but I'd imagine, yeah, I think so. Good, very good, because we were in a different defense, and once we went back, man, we didn't feel as good with it. But, but uh, Thomas needed to settle in a little bit, and and um, and we needed. I, I felt I felt good with that. You know, there's been a couple other times we've been close to that, and um, and uh, he did it. He did fine. I wouldn't think so, no. Well, we'll get into that tonight. Um, it's another one of those games, like I reminded these guys. Who, who's at the top of the league right now? Wisconsin, Maryland, Purdue? Purdue and Wisconsin. Yeah. All three of those games came down to either the buzzer, uh, the last possession, or the last two possessions. And so what these guys have got to understand, all right, you know, we didn't get those wins, but at the end of the day, uh, we just got to figure out how to get over those humps. Will it be easy in there? No, absolutely not. Very difficult place to play. They're good. Uh, they hit on all cylinders. Um, we'll make adjustments in our plan. Um, there'll be some different things we'll need to do, no doubt about that, as, as we've gotten a little bit healthier. And um, at the end of the day, you've got to go in there and weather runs. I mean, we're not going to be able to go in there and have, have uh, uh, periods of time where, where we're not getting good looks or we're turning the ball over. But at the end of the day with them, it's, it's, it's defending them in transition and it's blocking out at the end so they're not getting the second shots. That's the most important thing, I think, and then just kind of build as we go. All right, All right thank you. Thanks for your patience and waiting.